Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Pumpkin Spook. Now, what is that noise waking me up in the middle of the night? It's still dark outside there. The sun's not even up. Look how dark it is out there. There's a banging. That's Boris. There's someone at the door. Look. Ah, some traveller. Probably wants some midnight beer. All right, sir. You want a beer? Come on in. We've got lots of ale here for... Oh, yikes, zombies. All right, out of here, you fiend. Get out. Get out. Boris, we've got a problem here. All right, that's it. Okay, no more. Jeez, I thought we got... Oh, another zombie. Where are these zombies all coming from? Yikes. Okay, I'm closing that door. Boris, where are these zombies coming on? What's over here? Ah, oh, nothing. Oh, oh, okay, we got another horde over here. More zombies, Boris. Don't worry, I'll handle them. You just stay behind the bar. Oh, zombies, zombies. All right, well, Boris, it's all over now. Whew, I don't know where those zombies came from, but I'm going to go back to bed. Get some shut eye, and I'll uh, see you in the morning, Boris. Oh no, not again. Are those zombies back? I hardly got a little wink of sleep and they've come back. Alright, well, let's go deal with them. Boris, yes, they're back. Here we go, another one at the door. Don't worry, Boris, stay there, I'll deal with it. Okay, well, here we go. Naughty, naughty zombie, get out! Alright. Okay, none left. All right, let's close this door. We really need to find out where all these zombies are coming from, Boris. What about this side? Oh, okay, here's one here. All right, that's it. We're going to go out there. We're going to venture out in the middle of the night, find out where all these zombies are coming from. I'd only be waking up every single minute dealing with these guys, banging on the door. Now, there seems to be one down there. A lot of them following these footprints in the snow. Heavy snowfall. Here's one here. Hello zombie friend, I'm trying to get some sleep, so please go away. Now they're obviously coming around from here somewhere. I've got to find out where. Now, if I go over here, oh, there's a cave here. Hello, anybody home? Oh, yep, there's a spider down there. I wonder if that's where all our zombie friends are coming from. Let's go have a sneak peek. It's quite dark down here. Have I got some torches? I do. Oh, okay, we have zombies. And we have a zombie spawner. All right, so these are where these zombies are coming from. All right, well, let's deal with it. Okay, so let's get rid of these guys here coming up. Uh-oh, got one of those little baby zombies. They're really fast and hard to aim for when they're zipping around. All right, little fella, come on. I'll put you out of your misery. Come here, little fella. There you go. Take that and take that. Oh, jeez, it's a tough little bugger. All right. Now, let's head on down and deal with that zombie spawner, get my torches ready, and usually, thankfully, these zombie spawners don't spawn as fast when they're near an opening, these surface spawners, and we're going to make it. Oh, thank God for that. All right, now, well, while I'm here, well, let's see what treasures we got. Now, there's nothing else coming around the corner, is there? Well, okay, yep, we've got a spider coming. Get me trusty sword ready. Get rid of this spider. All right, get away, you hairy fiend. This is my treasure chest. All right, that's the end of that. Okay, now, I think that's going to be the end of the zombie hordes coming through at the middle of the night. There's a little spawner right here. Anyway, let's see what's in the chest. Oh, okay, we got some gunpowder. Oh, a record. That'll be something handy for the tavern. We're just going to have to make a player for it. And we'll be able to have some music for the tavern. Anyway, let's get all this stuff and we'll head on back home because I need to get some sleep. Now, nothing else coming around to sneak up on me? No? Good? Ah, oh, look at that. The crack of dawn. The sun's about to come up. Maybe I can get a few winks of sleep before it's full daytime. Yep, the moon is going down. Let's head on back to the tavern. Well, hopefully that's the end of those zombies. I really don't want to keep waking up in the middle of the night every time like that. Need my beauty sleep. Well, Boris, I uh, found a zombie spawner and I've dealt with it and hopefully we won't have to deal with them again. All right, Boris, I'm going to have a quick cat nap. I'll see you at breakfast. Ah, morning has truly broken. Oh, look out there, creepers. If it's not zombies, it's creepers. Look at the bay. Love that view every morning. Now, I am starving. Let's go downstairs and see what Boris has cooked us for breakfast because... I need some good hearty meal after battling those zombies all night. Morning, Boris. What have we got today? Hmm, chicken. Yep, I'll have some of that. I really need to speak to Boris about updating his menu. Anyway, I love chicken. Yum, 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 yum. Ah, there we go. 
Okay, now Boris, I'm going to be out working all day today. Now I'm going to be making some medieval lampposts and hopefully that'll keep the mobs at bay at night. So I'll show you a style that I've been working on and implement now. Now I saw a skeleton down here, so I'm going to take it out from the side here and flank him and whack him off my sword. Now I really need to invest in a wooden shield. I haven't gotten around to building one of those yet. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to brighten up the place at night to deal with mobs. And that's by building a medieval lamp. And um, I'll just show you how an idea that's popped to my mind. Now we're going to grab some dirt, always handy. I mean, you can always use your bamboo scaffolding, but I don't actually have any of that at the moment. So dirt is good enough. So we've got our uh, bark tree here and we've got our netherrack and we're going to add some cobblestone decorative pieces. Head on back down to the bottom here and uh, add some uh, more decorative pieces around the whole side to cover up the uh, netherrack. All right, so now what we're going to do is add some here, a base. There we go. Now, I'm going to put some buttons here to act as some bolts. I'm going right around the bottom here. Okay, yeah, looking good. Now, we've got some cobblestone fences, and we're going to add them around the side, right around. Act as more of a decorative piece to give it that rustic medieval look. Yeah, I like it. All right, well, let's go bring the other one opposite side. So again, we'll bring our dirt as our bamboo scaffolding for now. And uh, we'll bring up four blocks of timber on top of a cobblestone block and add a um, netherrack on top. And again, we're going to add our decorative cobblestone and hide the netherrack. Now, this fire being lit on netherrack should be okay when it rains. Snow, I don't know about. Well, we'll soon find out because this is a heavy snowfall area as you can see around. So again, more cobblestone decorative pieces to make a matching pair of medieval lampposts. Oops, got one there in the wrong spot. Where's my trusty pickaxe? Okay, let's fix that up. And uh, put back on our trusty little cobblestone decorative piece there. There we go. All right, and one for the top here. Okay, yeah, I like it. Now, it's not finished yet, ladies and gentlemen. We've got more to go. What we'll do is we're going to add more decorative pieces to it with our wooden fence. Now, the tree stumps and the fences I'm using is spruce. because There's a lot of spruce trees, which you can see in the background there, so I might as well utilize them. Okay, so we're going to build a archway we can walk under and uh, that'll join our two medieval lampposts. So we'll just use our dirt again and instead of going straight across, we'll make it uh, have a bit of a trendy style to it, like so. Alright, let's get back down here and have a look and see what we've created here. There we go. Yeah, I like it. And we're going to put a lamp there to add the finishing touches. Nice! Alright, now we're going to go up and light the um, netherrack now. And this will surely brighten up the night. So where's my trusty lighter? And uh, there we go, lighter up. Ooh, flame. Must stare at flame. Mm. Oh, snap out of it. Okay. Alright, so let's head on back down and we'll light the other side. So yeah, I'm really liking this design. Now, we'll make our way up to this side now and we'll light this one up. Now, I was going to use uh, the glowstones, but the fires have a more authentic look to it. Ooh, more flame. Oh, okay, let's get back to it. All right, so yeah, um, I was going to use the uh, glowstones, but I like the fire. Yeah, make sure you can't have the timber too close or else it will catch on fire. So what I've got there is a safe place where it shouldn't jump across onto the fence. I like it. 
All right, now let's go and have a look what it looks like at night. But first, we're going to walk under it because it looks awesome and it feels awesome walking through it. Yeah, I really like it and I hope you like it. There we go. Yeah, okay, now they're going to be the style of medieval lamps that I'll be adding throughout the village here. As you can see, the wheat field is also new. I've opted for the cobblestone fences while it's a little more upmarket in the middle of the city area here. Outer areas will probably have wooden fences. Okay, and this is what it looks like at night. And as you can see, it has a really nice lighting effect. It really illuminates the place quite nicely. Yes, I th ooh, oh, crazy creeper, almost got me there. Oh well, that was a close call. Anyway, back to my creation. So yeah, the lighting effect's quite good uh, with the lamps and the fire. And yeah, I think I feel quite safe working at night now. Oh, spoke too soon. There's another creeper trying to sneak up on me. Ooh, you sneaky little devil. Or well, maybe he's just here to admire my workmanship. Okay, well, as you can see, I've decided to change things again. And this time I've gone for the nether brick road. As per the previous episode, we found that huge nether fortress. And, well, I've been chipping away at it. I wonder if they'll notice. But as you can see, it still gives it that old world charm. Yes, I really like it. I think it gives it a good effect. So if your portal is near a nether brick fortress, it's one way to build a road because you get a, quite a lot of stock from it because three nether bricks is going to be able to make you six slabs for your roads or paths. Rather than use the footpath as your main road, I've used the footpath on either side of the road to act as a footpath. Now one thing important to note being in a snow biome is to use lower slabs, not the upper slabs and that way the snowfall will not cover up and hide your footpath or the lower slab roads that you've created so that way you won't get lost and they'll always be visible anyway i hope this helps you and inspires you in your minecraft world if it does please like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time thanks for watching